Alrighty. Wanted to make another video about water because for the last three months or so I've been drinking primarily filtered water. And um, after drinking distilled water for so long in the previous years, I've been in the distilled water game for a long time. I've been consuming it, distilling it at home. However, my distiller somewhat recently broke and um, you know, I looked at it like, all right, let's do an experiment with filtered water. I already know how distilled water makes me feel. Let's see how the filtered water makes me feel. So at the house in California, at my family's house, we have one of those uh, typical store-bought water pitcher filters that utilizes sediment filtration and carbon filtration. I'm not going to name any brand names, but I think you get the gist of it. Um, they're available at most supermarkets. So, you know, started drinking it, and within a few days I felt the effects of it. And I decided to sacrifice my health a little bit for this experiment, so I kept drinking the filtered water. And looking back now, I mean, I've lost a lot of gains from something as simple as drinking filtered water. Compared to distilled water, filtered water is what I like to call shit, garbage, waste. So I am gonna about to buy a uh, I'm about to buy a new distiller simply because I'm sick of buying store bought distilled water that comes in plastic jugs. It's nowhere near <clears throat> as clean, excuse me, as um, water that you distill at home. So I just wanted to make kind of a uh, a warning video that you know filtration is not as effective as distillation in any way, shape, or form. There are, however, some quality reverse osmosis units on the market and ionizers, alkalizers, you name it, that do effectively remove large amounts of the waste in the tap, but intuitively and based on my own experiments, I know for sure that distillation is the most effective means of removing all of the crap out of the tap water, and there is so much waste in the tap water, you guys. If you watch my channel, you know that I talk about this heavily because this is one of the keys of health. One of the keys of health is, without a doubt, getting on clean water. And clean water, in my opinion, is water that's had all the waste stripped out of it from the uh, the water supply. And there's so many algicides, cobalts, um, different things like hydrofluorosilicic acid, pipe residues, inorganic compounds like calcium and lime. There's They've found radioactive compounds in tap water, all sorts of things. And if you think that that is stuff that belongs in your body, then you are you're fooling yourself exponentially. So, again, after this experiment with filtered water, after drinking it for a long period, um, a few days ago I got myself some nice distilled water and I drank a gallon of it throughout the day and I immediately could feel the effect on my physiology, especially within my mind. That is the one thing that I, have, I noticed immediately years ago when I first got stimulated by distilled water and started to drink it I noticed clarity in my mind had the, the clarity in my mind excuse me had reached an all-time high and that's a virtue that's very important in this toxified world having clarity in the mind is very important so I mean all of the effects that are negative from the tap water from all the constituents that are in the tap water affect the glandular system affect the bones affect the blood and due to that due to the fact that the mind has an intimate connection with the physiology with the body when you toxify these sacred parts of your organism you in turn feel that and experience that within the mind because like i just said the mind is intimately connected to the body the body is the temple and the mind is kind of the mirror of the body so i don't resonate with any of this new age hype and all this bullshit out here where people think that you know the the body is just kind of an illusion and this is all mental experience and you just need to be, be happy all the time and ignore all the bad and don't worry so much about what you eat it can cause too much stress and all this other shit you need to be worrying about what you eat because you can dig a grave with your teeth again you need to worry about what you eat and what you put into your mouth because you can dig yourself a grave with your teeth and you can drink yourself into a grave as well the amount of inorganic compounds, especially calcium in the tap water, will stiffen you up like a coral reef, my friends. It'll turn you into a walking piece of cement. So, my oh my. You have to remember that, I mean, if you, excuse me, I'm friends with a few plumbers, and I've been on some job sites before with these plumbers. 
and uh, I've witnessed these plumbers cutting out the sink pipes and uh, my, my friend Scott the plumber showed me one of these pipes that had been I don't know it's been in for like 10 to 15 years and the calcium in the inorganic mineral deposits had built up in the pipe to such a degree that this wide pipe now had a hole the size of a pea due to the caking quality that these minerals and different inorganic constituents have on the pipes. So in my opinion, it's pretty rational, reasonable, and sensible to consider and understand the fact that if the inorganic compounds and the constituents in the tap water are plugging this pipe up, what is it going to do to your inner piping, your veins, your arteries, you name it, the fine filtering mechanisms of your tissues, your liver, etc. So there's a lot of fear mongering out here against distilled water. Many people will tell you that it will rob your body of minerals and it will put your up, you put your body out of out of alignment. In my own personal experience and again I've been doing this for years, that is absolute hogwash. That is deliberate anti-distilled water propaganda to keep you afraid of consuming the best quality, cleanest, most soft water on the planet. And if you're afraid of drinking distilled water without minerals, go ahead and put some minerals back into it. You can do that with Himalayan salt, preferably stone ground. You don't want the stuff that's ground with a stainless steel grinder because when they grind that Himalayan salt with a stainless steel grinder, after multiple pounds of salt, the stale stainless steel grinder is now a tiny little nub. It actually, the metal, due to the fact that the salt's somewhat hard, it actually breaks up the metal over time and the metal goes into the salts and that's why many low grade Himalayan salts have metal. They have found metal in these salts. So you need to be careful. You need to get your salt from a reputable company. But this rant isn't about salt. You can also uh, remineral remineralize your water with different magnesium concentrates and things like fulvic acid. Not, not folic acid, fulvic. F-U-L-V-I-C. Fulvic acid. But, I mean, I, I've done so many experiments with restructured, remineralized distilled water, and I've done so many experiments with distilled water alone. I like consuming both. I go through periods throughout the year where I'll consume it without minerals, and I'll go through periods throughout the year where I will consume it with minerals. I like it both ways. And you, you, if, if you're one of these people that's so afraid of distilled water in your mind, if you drink this stuff... You have to remember that water responds to your emotions, so if you're afraid of distilled water, maybe you shouldn't drink it. <clears throat> There's an intimate connection between the mind and the foods and fluids you put into your system. So if you're afraid of distilled water, I recommend getting a gravity-fed filter or a, um, a high-quality, either an ionizer or a um, reverse osmosis unit. And people ask me all the time how I restructure my distilled water. I have videos on that you can find in my archives. But to keep it simple, I add crystal energy back to it. I, um, I sometimes vortex it. I bless it. I expose it to certain sacred geometry um, pictures, etc. I sometimes recite certain um, words over the water. And sometimes I'll even do Reiki with my hands over the vessels of water that I'm about to consume. So I go leaps and beyond the average individual when it comes to the water that I consume and I make sure to put a lot of care and effort into everything that I put into my system because it's going into my system. The intention behind putting something in your system, into your system should be pure, honest, and righteous. I don't like just going up to a water filter, turning it on, and slamming the water, no. If I'm exhausted and dehydrated after exercise, sometimes I'll do that. But I like to sit down and really think about what it is I'm doing. I'm putting fluids back into my system to sustain my health. So you might want to put some care and effort into everything that you do for your health. Oh man, you're an extremist. You bless all your water. You betcha. I happen to cherish this life. Life is precious. And I want to do everything in my own personal power to prove to the angels that I'm doing everything in my power to alchemically treat my water, my foods, everything, man. It's a lot of fun to do this stuff. I view the body as kind of a biological fountain. It's a walking, living alchemist. And the foods and fluids that you put into your system have a direct connection 
to how your mind feels, how fast you think, how your heart beats, etc. So, what a gift we've been given, man, to have this body. And what a gift it is to have the availability of all these different things at our fingertips that we can use to augment our health and to increase our vitality. As bad as things are here in the United States right now, we still do have a lot of options. And while you still have those options remaining, you may want to take advantage of it. Because someday these options and these virtues, all this stuff may not be available. So, it's crazy. I got stung by two bees the other day and my foot is itching like a mofo. So I'm going to wrap this video up on behalf of the Sacred Starseed Serpent Uraeus YouTube channel. I hope this video can help inspire you to drink clean water. I hope this video can help inspire you to see the common sense rationale in drinking clean water, the philosophy of drinking clean water. You put dirty water into a water fountain and it'll clog up, the, the pump will, will clog up and it won't work anymore. Same goes with the body. Our, our veins are so thin and these minerals are so thick and they're so hard. You don't want to be consuming this stuff, ladies and gentlemen. I've done so many experiments distilling water from multiple different water sources and every single one that came out of a municipal city tap water supply out of the faucet was so disgusting after I finished distillation. There are so many white deposits and brown deposits. I've distilled black things out of water, green things, things that looked blue. It's just amazing. It's amazing how much junk is actually in one gallon of water that you don't see because it's dissolved and that's what they're called. They're total dissolved solids. These things that are negative for our health, you can't see them, they're clear. On the energetic level, however, if you're highly intuitive, you can pick up a, a gallon of, of, of tap water and you can just sense the negative energy in there. So I like to expose tap water to distillation because distillation removes byproducts through a process of alchemical chaos where there's bubbling going on in the boil chamber there's steam rising it condenses into a liquid the vapor does and all the heavy particulates stay at the bottom of the boil chamber and on the sides of the boil kettle and that's how distillation works that's why distillation is so ingenious filters on water filters and you name it reverse osmosis set it setups etc all these filters they're breeding ground for bacteria viruses and molds these are filters are dark and wet and most people I know are not fil changing their water filters as often as they should. And if you're using a lot of water, you need to be changing your, your, your filters every two, two weeks to two months. So I know people who will get a water filter and they'll, they'll leave the fucking filters in there for over a year. Not knowing that every time now you filter water through that filter membrane, it picks up all the residues and nasty byproducts and algaes, you name it that are stuck in that filter from years and months of filtering water. So, Just a brief little video, I hope that helps you guys. Um, you know, you can get a distiller for as cheap as $200 nowadays. You can get them as cheap as $160. And I do recommend getting a, a, a distiller that has a glass collection jar. With distillers, you have a distiller, which is a boil chamber, you have a fan on top, you have a, a metal coil that the, the water rises up, and then most new water distillers have a post-filtration cartridge that runs all of the distilled water through a couple ounces of um, activated charcoal because distillation sometimes, some of the volatile organic compounds, also known as VOCs, actually rise with the steam, but the charcoal filter gets rid of all of that. And you can do tests with certain meters to prove that. So distillation is one of the greatest ways to remove all the junk from your tap water and get your water to a state of just absolute zero, I like to call it, where you have zero total dissolved solids in your water. Now you can bless it, you can vortex it, you can add crystal energy back to it, or if you like, like I do, often you can remineralize the stuff. And now you have yourself a quality fluid. You've done everything you can to alchemically remove all the wastes. And it's a ton of fun, man. It's a ton of fun filling up the boil chamber and watching the water drip drop by drop into the collection jar. And at the end, you can hold up a thing of distilled water after you've cleaned it. You can hold it in the sun and you can just see how much cleaner it is because there's zero total dissolved solids. Hmm. So I'm repeating myself at this point. I'm going to wrap this one up.
Yankees be with you all.